Hey everybody, so <laughs> I guess I'll uh, just jabber at first. I used an AI tool today called Opus Clips and I just paste in a link to one of my videos and it goes through and it pulls out what it thinks of are going to be good clips to use uh, as YouTube shorts. And it gives um, like a virality ranking and then it describes why this particular clip is, is more likely to do well than, you know, other potential clips that you could pull from a particular video. And it gave me like eight, but, you know, the process of then downloading them from that site and then re-uploading them to YouTube and posting them and all that, it's, it's fairly tedious, and I, I think I only got through four. But the one that it ranked the highest, from my perspective, was just random. I mean, it's totally random. Um, it's just where I was talking about how I was going to work or I was thinking about taking a job at the, the local Tyson chicken plant, you know, just to get some money and some medical benefits. And, you know, it gave this explanation. Uh, I'll put the explanation on screen here so you can check it out. But to me, it just, it just seemed utterly random. I couldn't imagine why that video would do better than other things you could draw from that same video, you know, other short clips you could draw from that same video. Uh, but you know, it's only been up for a few hours, so I, I can't really say uh, that, you know, the tallies are in. But so far, it looks like it's doing the best of the four that I did get uploaded. Whereas, you know, some of the others that the app ranked lower in terms of viral potential, I thought were more interesting and coherent and uh, just, you know, better clips. But <laughs> the AI knows, be knows best, I guess. But, you know, it's, it's looking to, um, to second guess the uh the youtube algorithm so i guess you know one algorithm knows another algorithm another algorithm better than i do <laughs> it's weird but if in any of my longer videos you know you think there's a a segment that kind of hangs on its own um and you know you can be bothered to make note of the time let me know or you can even just tell me the content and i can find it but i'm determined to um i'm in this interesting situation where i have this nice DSLR camera and I actually shot a long video on it like a 20 minute you know one of these usual just talking into the camera videos but it's with the nice camera but I can't get the footage onto my you know my Surface Pro to upload it you know to edit it and upload it I have had two working computers but the power supply is broken on one of them and I just haven't bought the new power supply yet and I'll have to reinstall the hard drive because I took the hard drive out uh, to see if that was the problem and it wasn't but anyway, uh, I've got footage stranded on this nice DSLR camera that I have, and that shoots better video, it looks nicer, it would probably do better with the YouTube algorithm, but, you know, I can't get the footage from the camera to my computer. When I try, it starts to transfer, and then it tells me that the destination doesn't exist. If you have any insight, <laughs> I'd be interested. So I'm looking for AI tools that really you know, will allow me just to think about stuff, make some notes maybe, and then talk into the camera, and then either go through and pull out short segments or, you know, edit together a nice video, or ideally what I'd love to have is like, you know, I've been podcasting for years. It's very easy for me to just lay down an audio track and edit that, make it pretty tight, make it, you know, pretty concise and focused and polished. You know, the sound would sound a lot better than what you're getting through this, this little guy because I'd be using a proper, you know, mic. Um, I'd like to be able to just create the audio file, basically create an audio podcast, and then hand that over to an algorithm, an, an AI app of some kind, that would then just create visuals to go with the sound. You know, it would transcribe the video, and it would know generally what the content of the video was, and it would either find or create, you know, hopefully create, because that gets around copyright, you know, potential pitfalls. Um, Images, either, you know, static images that move around in interesting ways on screen or uh, simple animations or an avatar of me or, you know, maybe, I don't know, a monkey or <laughs> something <laughs> uh, with, you know, the lips match, uh, the lip movements matching the words. Uh, all kinds of stuff that seems like it's possible right now and it's only going to get better. Uh, one thing I've noticed, though, is that from my perspective, the AI, like generative AI services where people are, you know, they're creating 
you know, they've got an API for chat GPT or whatever, and you know, or, you know, one of the generative, um, you know, diffusion models like stable diffusion or something. Uh, they've created uh, an interface where, you know, you describe what you want, their interface calls on the generative AI, creates something and then serves it up to you. You know, but they've tailored it for different applications. Like there's one called uh, Podium Audio, which transcribes podcasts and then creates podcast show notes and blog posts and tweet threads and things like that. But I just hate the voice. I hate the voice that it writes in. It is so just vapid and it's, you know, it's just soulless. Um, but other than that, other than the voice, I mean, what it does is really good, but it's 16 bucks a month. And from my perspective, that's too much. <laughs> that is too much money. But, you know, I'm an individual uh, with limited income. I expect they're creating services that are, you know, they're hoping will be purchased and utilized and paid for by businesses, which have more money to spend. But, you know, so far, the people who are trying to just sort of create an interface that calls upon the big generative algorithms, um, they're charging too much. They want too much, you know, for what they're providing. Useful, though some of it seems like it is, it's more like potentially useful. I can't, I can't even say this uh, Opus Clips thing has paid off. I just discovered it this morning, <laughs> you know. I've only uploaded four videos using it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I've, I went back and I picked a video that had over 400 views already. I figured that's one that's got better potential. And I also wanted it to be a little bit older so it's not super fresh. Like, I, I do so much just rambly content that I'm sure, you know... Uh, if you haven't heard a particular one in a while and you hear it again in the distant future after having heard many, many others in between, that while it might sound familiar, you won't really be sure if I'm repeating myself or if you've actually <laughs> seen this clip before. Um, that was my thinking. I can't say I thought a whole long time to come up, you know, with that conclusion. Uh, so you let me know. Did you see one of the short clips? Did, did the YouTube algorithm show you one of the short clips? And if it did, did you recognize it as something you'd already seen before? All right, that is all. I'm going to make another video now talking about actual stuff. <laughs>